The president already said now. What is up? My name is Ian, and I help people take their mindset from a place of lack to a place of abundance. In this video, I just want to help you realize that you should know yourself and not reject yourself. You should know some of the habits that you actually do and have created and not reject potential future habits. You should know thyself and you should know what you're here to do. You should have a life mission, a purpose, a reason. And when you have that, you don't have to reject yourself anymore. You don't have to reject some of the decisions that you make or even some of the flaws that you have. Because quite honestly, a lot of us have this mentality that you know, if we aren't like something or if we aren't um, th like this person or whatever the case may be, then that will never be, will never be that. So we automatically reject our own selves because we are comparing ourselves to other people who might have what it is that we're looking at. And when you reject yourself, you hold back every possibility for growth. And when you, when you reject yourself, you don't put yourself in a position to grow. You never, you know, never expand yourself. You never really, you know, try. And that's the thing, man. If you could just try, you know, you might see, you might see something. But the fact of the matter is when you have your life mission down, statement, that's really clear, and you have a purpose, and you're drawn to that purpose each and every single day, then when you look at things, you'll, you'll see it at a different angle. Just like, I might not have this today, but that doesn't mean that I can't have it tomorrow. You don't automatically reject yourself. So for example, I know myself and I know that I am not a morning person. Mornings are like the worst thing in the world for me to actually like function and like do stuff. Like I might be able to get up and, you know, go to church and just just be in my, just be in my zen, kind of just be in my own zone. But like for me to like wake up and go to the gym and, you know, socialize and do all that stuff, like that is not me. But the fact of the matter is I know myself, but I don't reject the possibility of me going to church and me waking up early and, um, you know, attempting to function and quite honestly, like, yeah, even though I don't think that's me, I'm really whatever I put my, my mind on. Yeah, that, that might not be a way that I express myself efficiently, but in a sense, I don't want to reject that idea of being not a complete morning person. And I know I probably haven't made myself clear enough and probably not ideally in vain this uh this message the way that i would want but it's hard to talk about flaws when i'm trying to share with you that even though you're a f you're a flaw filled person that doesn't mean that you're not not that or you're not not this you can't you can't pull yourself away from your circumstances and say, oh, I'm not like that. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. It's like trying to describe yourself. It's trying to like, imagine describing a gong when in all actuality, if you just hit the gong, make it go bang, wow, 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 wow. That probably tells you more about what it is than me trying to explain it. So the fact of the matter is, don't hold yourself back. Don't reject yourself by trying to describe who you are. Just be yourself. Just love yourself and know thyself. Because if you know and you have a purpose and if you have you know, direction in your life, let me tell you guys, 
you are on the right path. You're going to achieve amazing things, and it's only a matter of time before you know yourself a little more. So hopefully you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later. Namaste.